What's good guys and welcome to today's daily market analysis. It is uh, the 8th of May, it's a Monday. And for today we'll be looking at the Euro USD, the Pound Dollar and the Euro Yen. Some very simple opportunities that I'll be going through today. So let's just have a look at the charts, yep. The first pair we want to look at will be the Euro USD and as you can see we have a, we have a bearish flag right here. Um, we, I was just discussing this with uh, Marco and um, we were looking at this flag and a potential retest of this um, the bottom of the channel right here and as you can see price did push up into this area um, retested this area of support and now turned into resistance and we have made our way lower however I would like to see possibly a, another retest of this um, this um, flag pattern right here and uh, we could potentially look for a short opportunity uh, this is the 15 minute chart so I hope this gets out to you in time before price actually comes up to retest this area around here so this is something I'll be looking out for and I might possibly enter a short position. Uh, you know, the euro has been quite uh, bearish after the elections because um, most likely the market has already priced in Macron's vic uh, victory. So this is something that we can look out for on the euro USD. The next thing we, we want to look at will be the pound dollar. And as you can see, I have uh, identified a double top formation right here, which suggests that there is some resistance right there. Um, however, I wasn't focusing on this uh, double top, we were looking at on the 15 minute chart. If you look at the 15 minute chart, you can see that we have a very loose guard lead which has already completed. We have our X to A, our A to B, B to C and our CD completion. Let me just check it for you. Extension of A to B. It would come around, hold on, let me just do it for you again around here we have a completion around here and as you can see price has just been consolidating around the area so I would like to see uh, we have actually have a double bottom right here but I would like to see price retest this area possibly have um, RSI go into oversold before we can execute this order for a potential guard leave this is I, I might have missed this move already but you know that's part of trading and um if uh, price does come down into that area then I could potentially look for another long opportunity so the next one we'll be looking at will be the Euro Yen. This is the Euro Yen on the daily chart and as you can see we had a bullish move upwards and we had basically this wedge pattern that formed and um, recently a few days ago price actually broke out of the wedge suggesting that price might want to continue its way higher possibly to possibly above these, these highs right here. So what I'm looking for right now is um, on the 4 hour chart I'd like to see a retest of this um of this wedge pattern, you know, possibly to enter at a at a better price. <clears throat> if um if we do use some Fibonacci analysis, we have this wedge pattern which we can use as structure, and if we were to use this swing low to swing high, we potentially have a 618 around that area. Let me just draw it out for you. 618. We have a 618 coming around this area so this gives us a potential zone for a long entry if price manages to come down and retest that area so yep this is something something that i've been looking out for excuse me on the euro yen and um let's see if we can use more fibonacci analysis on the if, if we if we were to use the swing low to swing high i don't think we could get a level possibly a 382 maybe a 50 percent retracement yep 50% retracement coming right in that zone, a 3 to be too high, uh, but 50% would be a nice level to look at. We have built a very nice zone for entry, and um, you know what, if price comes down into this area, I'm looking uh, for, a, for a long position. And um, regarding yesterday's, uh, I just want to go through yesterday's, um, yesterday's Gartley pattern that I went through um, on the weekly market preview. On the daily chart, we have our X to A, A to B, B to C, and our CD coming around here. Let me just complete that for you to see where it actually ends. D completes around here. So as you can see, price came down into that uh, D completion, pushing down a bit before making a very big um, bullish move on this day. Let me just see how many pips that is in this candle. It's about 60, 70 pips. 70 pip move. And um, I guess the move has already been uh, completed. So if you got in on that, then good for you. If not, then you know what? There will be there will always be other opportunities on um, other pairs. So this has been the daily market analysis here at Elementary FX. 
Thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow for another daily market analysis.